Once upon a time, in a small, quiet village, there was a big mystery. This village was very peaceful and beautiful. People lived happily. They knew everyone and everything was simple. In the center of the village, there was a big, old tree. Under the tree, old men sat and talked. They spoke about the weather, their farms, and sometimes about the legend of the village. The legend was about a headless horseman. Long ago, people saw him ride at night. He was tall and rode a big, black horse. No one knew who he was or where he came from. Every night, the village was very quiet. People stayed in their houses. They locked their doors and windows. They were a little scared because of the legend. One day, a new person came to the village. His name was John. John was young and not afraid of legends. He wanted to know everything about the village. John asked many questions. He asked about the farms, the big tree, and the headless horsemen. The old men under the tree told him the stories. John decided to find out the truth. He wanted to see the headless horseman himself. So, he planned to stay outside at night. The villagers told him it was a bad idea. They said it was dangerous. But John was not afraid. He wanted to solve the mystery. That night, John waited under the big, old tree. It was dark and quiet. He could hear only the wind and the leaves. Suddenly, he heard a sound. It was the sound of horse hooves. The sound was coming closer and closer. John was excited, but also a little scared. Then he saw it. A figure on a horse appeared in the dark. It was tall and looked like the headless horseman from the stories. John could not believe his eyes. He stood very still and watched. The figure passed by him and went into the darkness. The next morning, John told everyone what he saw. Some people were scared, but others did not believe him. They thought it was just a story. John wanted to prove he was right. So, he asked for help. He wanted to find out who the headless horseman really was. With some brave villagers, John planned to wait for the horseman again. This time, they wanted to follow him and see where he went. The night came and they waited. Again, they heard the sound of horse hoofs. The headless horseman appeared and they followed him. They followed the horseman to the edge of the village. There, the horseman disappeared into the mist. They could not follow anymore. The villagers were confused. They did not understand how the horseman could disappear. They talked and thought about it all the way back to the village. The next day, John and the villagers decided to search the area where the horseman disappeared. They looked for clues. They found something surprising. There were no tracks of a horse. It was as if the horseman had never been there. John thought about the mystery. He had an idea. Maybe the horseman was not real. Maybe it was a trick. He shared his idea with the villagers. They decided to watch the area every night. They wanted to catch the person who was tricking them. Many nights passed. They saw nothing. Then, one night, they saw a figure. It was the headless horseman, but this time they were ready. They ran towards the figure. As they got closer, the figure tried to run away. But they were faster and caught the figure. When they caught the figure, they found out the truth. It was not a ghost. It was a man from the village. 
He wore a cloak and had a pumpkin under his arm. The man was surprised. He did not expect to be caught. He thought his trick was perfect, but the villagers were smarter. The man explained why he did it. He wanted to scare people for fun. He thought the legend of the headless horseman was a good story to use. The villagers were not happy. They did not like to be scared, but they were also relieved. Now they knew the truth. John was a hero. He solved the mystery of the headless horseman. The villagers thanked him for his bravery. After that, the village was peaceful again. People were not scared anymore. They knew there was no real headless horseman. The old men under the tree still talked about the legend. But now, they also talked about John and how he solved the mystery. The village became famous. People from other places came to hear the story of the headless horseman and how it was solved. John stayed in the village. He liked the people and the peaceful life. He was happy to be a part of their story. Every year, the village had a celebration. They remembered the night they solved the mystery. They celebrated their bravery and unity. And so, the legend of the Headless Horseman became a story of courage. The villagers learned that together, they could solve any mystery. The End